I'm coming to you guys. I'm coming to you guys. This is 101 series for all the beginners. So guys, if you have any questions that I would I wouldn't maybe even think of, just go ahead, put those in the comments and the most popular comments will be translated into these videos and subscribe to the channel so that you can see when the new ones come. Three servicing things that you should do yourself. Even, even if you are a super beginner, uh, you should not wait until your bike gets into the workshop, the bike uh, workshop and the serviceman will be servicing your bikes because those three things should be maintained almost daily, almost after, after every ride, depending on uh, what type of ride it was. So number one, that's cleaning your drivetrain. Number two, that's lubing your chain. Number three, that's pumping your tires. Let's start with the shortest one, the easiest one, pumping your tires. I'm talking about the super beginners. The super beginners usually run too low of a pressure because they never um, pump their tires because they don't have a pump. Uh, and more advanced beginners will have too high of a pressure. We're talking about those super beginners. You need a bike pump, but do not buy stationary pump. The stationary pump is for a little bit more advanced people who will be using them more frequently. These will pump a lot of air with just one push allowing you to pump up the 29er for example wide tires very very quickly which you don't do so often so a mini pump this is not a mini pump i'm talking about even such a mini pump uh, i'm now uh, visiting my parents so uh, the mini pump will be great why is it so because number one you don't need a big pump and number two even if you buy a stationary pump you also need a mini pump because when you go for a longer ride you want to have the mini pump and the spare inner tube with you. The stationary one will not fit into your bag. So buy a mini pump, which should, which should cost about, I don't know, I'm not sure, maybe about $8. Just make sure that the end of this mini pump will fit the valves that you have on your bike. And don't just think that if it says on the, on the packaging that it's for both the shredder and the Presta valve, uh, it will fit because some are really lousy, I would say. And for example, pumping the shredder valve will be very difficult and hard so that some women will not have as much um, power in the arms, in the, in the palms, uh, because these just don't fit very well to both valves. So just make sure ask the people in your local bike store are you sure this will really work well for me you can even try it on the bike in their store just check out what type of uh, valve you have so start with the mini pump probably you will just end with the mini pump and you don't need a stationary pump which can cost from good mini pump will cost from i would say 30 dollars but i the mini pump i buy uh, cost about $80, $70. So you don't need that for the beginning, okay? The mini pump. Now cleaning and lubing your drivetrain. Number one, the best thing for cleaning the drivetrain is old towels. Those towels with those little, um, the more hairy, the better, I would say so. The more hairy, the better. And ah, this is why I'm wearing this actually, because I just want to show you that. If this is very synthetic, it won't uh, soak up the water. For example, if it's raining, like now, because you are covered now with the towel because it's raining, uh, it won't soak up the water from your chain uh, and it won't soak up even the, the oil, the old loop. So the less synthetic, the better. Old towel. You can also use old t-shirts, but t-shirts are not that hairy. So I'm using the old t-shirts Guys, let's use things because b before we throw them away. So I'm using the t-shirts for cleaning the frame, cleaning the wheels, which actually you don't need to do that that often, but drivetrain, yes, you need. So old towel will be great. Okay, this is the towel which, which was put on you, on the camera. Uh, you see all, all these hairs. When you just keep it around the chain, those hairs will come into, like inside the chain, and clean it much, much uh, better. So um, you can start with cleaning the teeth on the uh, on the crankset. Then let's just see right here. You want to change the gear to the smallest one on the rear, 
and then just keep the towel around the chain and you will clean it beautifully. You can also use these, the toothbrush, multiply by two. In my opinion, this is more like, it's really more like a clickbait, in my opinion, than the big brush I'm using. Just imagine you have a big brush, you keep it right here, spin the cranks, you keep it right here, spin the cranks. It will work much, much better and much faster. And also, you see <laughs> the thing I'm wearing. This is not really good for water. This is not even good for, for oil. So something more natural, 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 natural is, is better. You can use the big brush for the cassette. Keep the cassette just around here, spin the cranks and you will see how fast it will go and then your crank set. Your cassette and your chain after a muddy or rainy day will look beautifully and will work beautifully. Just don't use it for, for your teeth anymore. And then lubing. Do not use spray lube for your chain for two reasons. Number one, you will lose more uh, lubricant in this way than you will put on the chain because it will just it will get everywhere but but not on your chain and also if it gets on the disc brake rotor and on the disc brake pads the disc brake pads you need to throw them away you won't be able to use those it will be dangerous and you cannot clean you can clean the rotor you cannot clean the disc brake pads when they get the loop on them because they will soak up the loop. So don't use it. Use a just a normal oil loop. I'm using finish line the green one because the green one is not too thick. It's not too light. It's in between. Uh, don't put too much and then remember after lubing the chain clean it from outside so that it won't stick all the dirt. Additional thing here is that when you get a new bike and the bike shop will not clean the, the I would say the warehouse grease from your chain and no, almost nobody does it, it, all the dirt will get there on the chain. So the first thing you want to do is to remove it from the chain. WD-40 is really good for that. WD-40 is not made, the, I mean the, the, the classic one, the yellow blue is not made for lubing the chain. It's great for some stuck uh, threads or so and it's also okay for removing that grease from the new, new, new chain. You want to spray WD-40 on the towel, then you want to just close the towel around, uh, keep it around the chain, then uh, spin your cranks and it will be fine. And then after cleaning the chain, you can go for a ride. And that's it guys. You will save a lot of money. You will, your bike will be faster when the chain is quite clean. You don't have to be doing it like pros, just the towel, just normal loop, not spray. And that's it. Remember about the tires. What questions do you have? What kind of questions you have? Put those in the comments and I'm going to see you in the next one. Subscribe. Bye-bye. Stationery won't go with you into your um, bag.